Hey everyone, Josh here, and then I am inside a 1987 Cadillac Eldorado, and today we are going to take a quick look at the vacuum fluorescent digital instrument cluster. All right, first things first, as you'll see here, you've actually got two different areas. You've got the vacuum fluorescent center here and you've got a row or bank of warning lamps but first let's listen to the uh, key and ignition chime it's pretty wild so it's actually in the glove box and it is a physical uh, hammer hitting a bell all right so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start it up And there's really not a whole lot to this uh, system, really. It's pretty typical of GM cars of this era. Uh, it's not very detailed, but we'll go over it real quick. So you have your gas gauge over here, which actually is calibrated to read out the gallons remaining. Right smack in the middle is your speedometer. And over on the right hand side, you have the miles here and you can see here 67,350 miles on this car. And your trip odometer is down below. This is your trip odometer reset. And this is your Prindle here, your park reverse neutral drive. And as you select the gear lever, it highlights the gear that you will be in. Pretty common nowadays, but in the eighties, it wasn't so much. Over on the driver information center down here, if you hit the English metric button, it switches over. Another thing, the turn indicators are actually a chime, just like in the Riata was. And then you have your high beams. They just show up in the vacuum fluorescent display. All right, that does conclude our look at the vacuum fluorescent digital instrument cluster in the 1987 Cadillac Eldorado. We hope you liked the video. If you did like it, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhood car reviews and Instagram at brinsoj1. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.